welcome to visit the ancestors. You ain't black power one day, motherfucker, and working at Burger King. And I'm not saying working at Burger King, but goddammit, you give up your black power to go integrate into the white man's society. I'm not knocking nobody that's actually working to have to do what they got to do. But what I'm saying is a motherfucker black power and then he ultimately gives up on black power and says, fuck it. I'd rather integrate into the white man's society. He does, he does not have steadfastness of purpose. That means this cracker system have beat that man. He's weak. A lot of these niggas is out here is weak. These queens got more revolutionary spirit than a lot of these niggas out here. And that's why they don't want to fuck with you niggas. And they, all the queens ain't right. And all the men is not right. But there's some revolutionary queens out here that don't want to fuck with y'all niggas. Claiming that you're black power. Because you're black power, but you don't know how to treat a black woman. So nigga, if you can't treat your black woman, motherfucker, you ain't no revolutionary. Because if you're a real lion, if you're a real gorilla, beating on your motherfucking ch chest by nature, she gonna be attracted to you. Because that's just the laws of nature. A real true black woman is gonna be attracted to a gorilla by goddamn nature. Because there's nothing in the fucking universe like a black gorilla. Nothing. When he beats on his motherfucking chest, every goddamn thing in the vicinity take flight. And she admires that. The lion, goddammit, when he come on the motherfucking scene, everything take flight. And she adores that. She comes up under the alpha male and wants to be around him. So you want to attack the sisters, nigga, because you's a bitch-ass nigga. But we back to set the record straight. Uh, a true queen ain't supposed to fuck with no weak-ass nigga. That's why she's a queen. Identity with spiritual life or the higher ideals. The fourth commandment of a revolutionary thinker. Identity with spiritual life or the higher ideals. The higher ideals is what we is, is our revolution. It's not the everyday life that motherfuckers is living. We are we are we are every day thinking about our ancestors and how they died and saying to ourselves we don't give a fuck what they offer us we are not going to forget what happened to our ancestors we're not going to let you bitch motherfuckers buy us off with some fucking bridge cards and some fucking food stamps and say you giving us uh, 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 all that is due us through welfare after you done murdered hundreds of millions of our goddamn ancestors we identify with the Spiritual uh, ideals, the higher ideals mean you can't be bought. You know what is right, and you're going to move on what is right, and you're not going to be bought out. Your higher ideals is your identity without struggle, and seeing the goddamn struggle through, even if it costs you your life. Motherfucker, you're going in the ground anyway. Give your baby something to emulate. Say, that was my daddy. That was my mother. I'm so proud. But you go down like a bitch ass nigga. The only thing that you got to show your babies at the end of your motherfucking life is a motherfucking check, check stub from White Castles, motherfucker. That's the only thing you can show your goddamn baby is a fucking check stub from fucking Mickey D's. Is this a revolutionary individual who come from kings and queens? And if you know you built a goddamn pyramids, quit saying you can't beat this peck of wood. Because ain't no motherfucking way you gonna tell me. We built the peck of wood, we built the pyramids, and we can't beat these low-life peck of woods. You can't keep saying that. How could you be responsible for something that great and you can't beat a motherfucker that just crawled out the motherfucking cave two days ago? That's the irony in it. That's the identity with the higher ideals. You got to cut out the bullshit, the little weak thoughts that you're thinking, and the, the, the bullshit that you practice every day in your lifestyle, you got to put up a front every goddamn day to repulse the enemy, and you got to deal with the higher ideals. I'm dealing with this shit every day. I got to go to war with these motherfuckers. And I'm not going to turn back. I don't give a fuck how many numbers against me. Fuck y'all. I'm not going nowhere. You bitches can't scare me. Motherfuckers, I know what I got on my side. The fuck I'm gonna let some weak motherfuckers... Uh, I got to set an example for the babies. So they can always come back to SETI just like we go back to college. Just like we go back to Malcolm. Just like we go back to Dr. Clark. Just like we go back to Dr. Ben's DVDs when they was cutting it up. 
back then, putting it on the line. I got to set this example so that our babies can come back and view these Sara suits and set these DVDs and CDs, goddammit, and then build up the strength, goddammit, to, the, to hold the line for the next generation. Let's go on. Evidence of having a mission in life. What's your mission? What's your mission? To go punch the clock for these peck of woods every day? To, well, what is your mission? And you got to think that out. My mission is to see my people free. That's my mission. And to build a bridge between our people in the Western Hemisphere and our peoples in the Eastern Hemisphere. That's what I want with Mother Africa. That's, what I, that's my mission. And I'm not turning back for nothing. Fuck y'all. If that's what you want to do, nigga, get out my cipher. Because goddammit, I'm tightening. I ain't even tightening. I ain't even tighten my motherfucking Timberlands up. But when they get tightened up, you motherfuckers better be out of my way. Because I'm drop kicking motherfuckers in the face to see my mission in life succeed. Because that's a, is success for our babies. That's success for Mother Africa and her children all over the world to finally feel good about themselves. So you niggas gonna come up off that our sacred color black. You motherfuckers coming, you don't think you is, but you is. We gonna guarantee that. We gonna make it, it's gonna be like, to send a motherfucker out there and say, black means death, motherfucker gonna say, no, no, you gonna say it. These niggas around this motherfucker then got crazy. They ain't letting you just say that shit no more. These young motherfuckers around here then got wicked with taking niggas up off of this bitch for disrespecting who we are. You go say, you know how we, you know, we used to put motherfuckers up to go do silly shit? Then motherfuckers say, uh-huh, you do it. And that's what the motherfuckers gonna say when they start thinking about disrespecting our color, black, and our mother Africa. Won't get me to do it. Them niggas over there crazy. Now let's go to seven. Let's go to seven. Freedom from resentment when under the experience of persecution and wrong. That mean motherfuckers is gonna call you out. Gonna put pressure on you. Say, no, nigga, you're wrong. You're a liar. You're a liar. You ain't correct. You ain't, they gonna, it's gonna be organizations that's gonna come out on you and gonna put the pressure on you. And they're gonna think it, they thinking you can bust. They're gonna say, you know, the motherfuckers that got weight, they try to put pressure on you to see if you can bust. But see, they didn't realize that I'm a motherfucking a, a tree trunk. Nigga, of a, a, a tree that's been here 10,000 years. I ain't going nowhere. I'm rooted in the ground, motherfucker. And I'm solid as fuck. So they thinking they can put pressure on you. And if they put pressure on you, you must still come to the forefront and you must drop the facts. You must drop the truth at all motherfucking cause. You should not turn back. You, that's freedom from resentment under persecution. Under the persecution. You understand what I'm saying? You stand your motherfucking ground. And our babies will see it. And they, they won't turn back. Do you teach them not to turn back? If they got truth on their side, forward, goddammit. Put your, tighten up your goddamn boots. And if there's a motherfucker in your way, then you drop kick that motherfucker in his chest. Hey, confidence in the power of the master as teacher. Now, what that means is, when you read Dr. Ben, when you read Dr. Clark, when you read the Messiah Marcus Garvey, when you read Al Haj Malik Shabbat, and you read their teachings, you have confidence in those of our teachers that then came forth, given their life, that what they teaching is correct. And you will not, if a motherfucker come with any other book, we don't want to hear that shit. You believe in your prophets and your revolutionary queens that then came forth with the knowledge and, and gave their life so that you can have this knowledge today. But you go pick up some old peck of wood books. Oh, I can't wait till we get in the hall. Oh, on April 19th, y'all better be there. And anybody in the house that coming to see Sarah Sutton said on, have your goddamn black on. 